Hello, my friend. It's Tim Sure, president of Sure Success Seminars. And on our show today, we are going to take you inside your own mind, show you the unconscious habits that are driving your behavior, and show you the inside secrets for how to take your results to the next level. So if there's one show that's going to help you to make huge breakthroughs in your life by understanding what's driving you at an unconscious level, it's this show with Prosper and me, Tim Sure. I'll see you there. Welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show. And today we've got the world-renowned expert in human motivation and influential communication, Sir <laughs> Tim Sure himself. Tim, how are you Hello. going, my man? I am wonderful. Thank you for having me on your show, Prosper. I'm very excited to be here with you. Fantastic. Audience, um, our audience today might notice that I'm a little bit starstruck. I've been following you for quite a while and um, really so much of a pleasure to have you on the show today. And if you're in the audience, you would know that we basically want to work with you so that your business is profitable and enjoyable. Now, when we bring people like Tim um, around, Tim will help you shift your unconscious beliefs and habits and you will have a profound, life-changing experience that actually helps you discover what drives your behavior and the behavior of the people you're going to be demanding money off of. Now, without an audience, without uh, people paying you, you're good as not being in business. So it's going to be from today's show that we're going to unpack what it is that you as a business owner should actually do so you have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. Now, Tim, did I say some of that right? You said all of it right, like always. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Our main goal is to help you to make a difference in the world. And as you make a difference in the world, it will make a difference in your world. I'm always telling people that the more value you bring, the more valuable you become. Understandable. Yes. The more value you also bring out to others, the more you actually get paid. Now, in most of your talks, um, their team, you actually help people to elevate their self-awareness. First of all, yes. how is awareness critical to somebody having a business that's profitable? You have to understand what's driving you both inside. So there's two types of awareness. There's self-awareness. So you understand what's driving your behavior, what causes you to think, act, or behave in the way that you do. And then there's social awareness with, are you paying attention to what's going on around you? And so human beings tend to struggle with both of those. Uh, so with the first way to increase self-awareness is to start paying attention to what you're actually thinking about. Pay attention to what you're telling yourself. Because what you think about most of the time, your life becomes. It's like there's this genie that lives in the back of your head and it listens to whatever you're saying. And if it hears you saying things uh, a lot, then it's kind of, it says, as you wish. And it starts to grant those wishes, which means it starts to subtly, subconsciously move you towards that direction. So for example, if you're telling yourself, um, I don't think I can do this, I'm not smart enough, uh, people are going to find out that, that I'm a fake or I'm a fraud, then what will happen is you will find yourself procrastinating or you'll get so far and then you stop. Or when you're supposed to lean in and really go for that sale, you'll find yourself holding back. So paying attention to your own beliefs and what, how you feel about yourself is essential because success is definitely an inside job. Understandable. So once you start looking at the self, which is the self-awareness and also the social awareness, because those are the people that are going to be affording you that mm -hmm. lifestyle in order to com um, in order to actually combine those two, you need um, something that you also help people with, which is charisma. How then does charisma play a part if you know what you are like and if you know what the um, market needs, why then do you need charisma? You need charisma because it is the magic that caused people to trust you, to like you, to believe in you, and to want more of you. Remember, they're usually in the beginning, uh, if you're using yourself as a brand, as a digital marketer, then they're buying you first. And if they don't like you, they're not going to want to find out what you have to offer. They're not going to try your product or service. So if you are uh, using video or your voice, you have to come across with passion. Charisma is all about passion and believing that you're going to help somebody out of their pain or create more pleasure. 
That's all charisma really is. Now, there's a lot of ways that you can come across where uh, you're using your nonverbal skills or body language and you're smiling and you're moving and you have passion. Prosper, you're perfect at that. When you start your show, there's so much charisma that comes out of you, I have to step back and just soak it in because it's good, right? And so that because you have passion, you get excited about it. You, it. you know, people think that charisma is all about having that Hollywood smile and having a certain look. It isn't. It's all about how much do you really believe you can help somebody else. And then it comes across. So you've got to have that connection. If I came to the show today and um, where I'm at at seven in the morning and my son's bedroom is upstairs and so I'm, I'm not as rowdy as I normally am <laughs> okay but if I if I came to the show and I'm like thanks for much for having me it's really uh, I'm very excited to be here and I know we're gonna change the world together you would you would click off right prosper would be like oh we got to go to a commercial break <laughs> thanks for being with us <laughs> grand, if I'm opening, like, grand closing <laughs> exactly right so if I'm like you know you can do this you got to believe in yourself I know you're gonna have challenges sometimes you're gonna run into walls but you have the ability to go through those walls through those obstacles knock them down turn them into a stepping stone because you can do this right getting that kind of energy will help people be like, yeah, yeah, I can do it. But that's why you gotta work on yourself first. Because if you're afraid to unleash your own power, if you're afraid to really own your voice, if you're afraid that you don't know enough, I mean, all you gotta know is 10% more than the person you're talking to, and you're the expert in that conversation. So a lot of charisma comes from just believing in yourself and preparing yourself, right? Preparation plus opportunity equals success. I am always preparing myself and I am well educated, but I am constantly learning because I know there's always something more for me to learn. And uh, so I'm always a student of continual improvement and I encourage you to do the same. Understandable. Thank you so much for that. And, um, and obviously you're right about that. It's a two way process. We live in a world of duality. You give, you get. So if you're not going to be giving out um, anything, there's no way you're going to be getting anything in return. Now, one of the other things that you are actually world-renowned for is helping um, people with others-focused others, others focused communication skills, okay? Yes. We're talking about, um, in, in the beginning, there's self-awareness, which has to do with the self. And then we talked about charisma, which is also um, a lot to do with the one person. Now, what is this um, ulterior sort of communication now that we have to bring out the others focused communication skills that you also teach other people um, you know in, in your line of work so that is a fantastic question prosper and the answer is going to be worth everybody being here listening to your podcast and, and being a part of your your online TV show right now Right. So I'm always thinking podcasts. I know we got your TV prosperity show. So um, <laughs> and this is an example, actually, of being others focused, of knowing how to uh, really understand the person that you're communicating with. And I'm enjoying our conversation. You know, I reached out to be a uh, part of your show as well, because I love your energy and I love your message and I love what you're doing for other people. And and you're so real and so honest that they, should, they can really uh, believe it and apply it and do whatever else that you're suggesting because you're the real deal, okay? Now, this is an example of me not just complimenting but really believing in something and sharing it. And that's what others focused is all about. That's why you have to do the inner work first because you've got to feel secure inside and you've got to, you've got to feel good about yourself so that you can then not make it about yourself anymore and focus on the people in front of you and make it about them. So when you're writing or you're making a video, if you hear or see the word I a lot, I do this, I feel this way, I think of it this way, I do this, I, I, me, me, then it's really all about yourself, right? When you're communing with somebody else, you should be using the word you. You may be struggling. You might be afraid. You might be waking up in the middle of the night thinking, right? And now all of a sudden, you find yourself living the kind of lifestyle that you desire. You find yourself secure on the inside. You feel a sense of peace. And other people are walking up to you going, what are you doing? You look so successful. You seem so confident, right? You've got to make sure that you're paying attention to what's going on in front of you with the people that you are connecting with so that they feel like you're focused totally 100% on their success and not just what you're going to get out of it. And that's what I mean by being others-focused. A lot of times if we have 
too much stress or we're coming from insecurity, then what happens is we're always making it about ourselves and people will know that. So you got to feel secure so you can focus on the people in front of you. You can get out of your own head. Stop worrying about how they're judging you. If you're worrying that people are judging you, it's because you are judging you, All right? You don't see the world as it is. You see the world as you are. So if you are going to buy something, then that's your belief and people won't buy it because they'll feel your energy. So you got to believe that the sale is going to happen. You got to believe that what you're doing is going to work. And because you're self-focused, you're finding out from the people that you're working with or from your niche audience, what their pains and struggles really are. You're constantly having conversations and asking them. You don't just assume you know. You have conversations with people. You engage with people. You find out what struggles they're really having and the words that they use to describe those struggles. And then you just basically use those words that they're saying in your ad copy, in your videos, in your products, in your sales letters, in your follow-up newsletters. You're constantly pushing those emotional buttons because you understand the person in front of you. And that's what it means to be others-focused. Thank you so much for that. Um, very profound in and of itself. I mean, obviously, our audience here, team, understands and appreciates that our main focus is to make sure that their business is, prof is profitable and enjoyable. So they profit in their business and they actually enjoy working in their business. And I believe once you start working from an other's focus communication skill, you now see things from your customer's eyes in as much as it's easier to speak their words and see what they're actually seeing. Conversions become, um, you know, effortless and, you know, it, it helps them with their business uh, profitability right there. Thank you so much for that. That's actually a really big shift because we unconsciously divert to the eye because we own automatically start thinking of what's in it for me. So what are the steps then that somebody can, you know, start noticing when they don't speak in others focused, what sort of little tricks can you uh, maybe recommend for somebody who's just watching this and has had that triggered in their head, but doesn't know when to notice when they're speaking um, in the you or I sort of um, genre or focus. Great question. So the first thing you can do is get out a post-it note, right? So I always have post-it notes around me <laughs> and a pen, <laughs> okay? And so, and, you, and what you can do is you can make a little note that says, who are you focusing on, right? Who are you focusing on? And then you just post it on your computer monitor. Uh, you post it on your desk, anywhere where you're gonna be writing or creating video. And then you just ask yourself, who am I focusing right now? Am I focusing on me or am I focusing on the person that I'm serving? And so a post-it note will create top of mind awareness. It will keep it in your mind because you've created a note for yourself. And it's very important to, um, to create notes for yourself or leave yourself a voicemail or send yourself a text uh, so that it is always around you, reminding you. Then you go through something that you've put together right? An email that you've put together, a sales letter that you're working on, a video, and then you listen for who are you focusing on most. And you kind of imagine that you are your own coach and you kind of step out of yourself and you're looking at your material as though it's from somebody else. And then you ask yourself, does this feel like you're connecting with me? Does it feel like, uh, you know, if you're the customer, does it feel like it's pushing the right buttons inside of me? Does it feel like I'm focused this person is focusing on me and understanding my pains and understanding my obstacles and understanding what I want to get to and how I want to feel. Does it feel like that? Or does it feel like they're constantly just talking about themselves? You know, a lot of people out there have suddenly become an expert or a guru online. And you can often tell if they really understand other people um, by whether they're talking about other people, whether they're talking about their customers' experiences, whether sh they're sharing stories about other customer breakthroughs uh, that, that have taken place, or if all they talk about is their own story. All they talk about is what's going on inside of themselves, right? Now, it's, it's fine to be able to share your story. It's fine to be able to um, talk about the things that you're thinking about and the things that you're experiencing, but 
the best people know how to trend or how to how to shift into starting with yourself and then making it about other people. And these days, if you're going to make a short video, say you're doing a Facebook live video, uh, the goal in the beginning is to get someone to watch that video for just three seconds. And that means the first sentence out of your mouth has to grab their attention. And if the first sentence out of your mouth starts with I, they're going to click off, right? So the first sentence has to be about them and what their pain is and what their struggle is and what the hook is, you know, some headline. It's something that immediately grabs their attention. So if you start a video out with, hi, my name is Tim and uh, I've created this new program and I want to tell you about some of the things that I've been through, then they're probably going to click off real quick, right? But if you start with, have you been struggling with sugar cravings or do you, have a, do you toss and turn every night because you can't get this fear out of your head, right? Whatever it may be. Are you afraid your buddies are going to make fun of you because of your golf swing? <laughs> you know? Are you terrified that your kids are never going to make friends in school? You know, it could be anything like that grabs people's attention. You know, are you afraid, are you afraid as an online entrepreneur that you're never going to make the kind of money you desire? If you got to grab their attention and push a pain button right away. And so it forces you to ask yourself, am I, am I looking at me or am I looking at my customer? Am I focused on me or them? Right? So start out with that post-it note. Who are you, you know, focusing on? And then start paying attention to all the writings and all the things that you've done and kind of go back with that mindset, that filter, and see what you come up with. Great. That's really uh, profound because most of that stuff is unconscious. You don't really get to notice it. And uh, most of the belief that we have is people are here to watch me, so I better tell my story because that's a narrative that you know, all the marketers are putting out there. So as humans, we're already creatures of habit, all right? And it's all those habits that actually are inhibiting our success. Now, what sort of, um, you know, other habits have you noticed, um, you, know, you know, online entrepreneurs, you know, crippling their success these days that your courses or your keynotes actually help um, them to alleviate so that they um, probably skyrocket their motivation, engagement, and actually have measurable results? Yes. Yeah, so you hit it right, um, right on the head. So the idea that we're most of uh, what drives us is unconscious and we are creatures of habit and habit are just unconscious behaviors that we do automatically without even thinking about. And so the work that I've spent the last 27 years on is understanding what drives you unconsciously and how to upgrade those habits that are no longer serving you. So I upgrade human software. I'm like the geek squad for your brain. And what I do is help you become more aware of the blind spots that you have that are holding you back from getting the results that you want, no matter what level you're playing at. You might already be a multimillionaire trying to get to the next level. I can help you find the beliefs that we need to upgrade to get you there and help you shift the habits so that you are living more, more, even more successfully. If you haven't made anything yet and you're broke and you're wondering how you're going to get to the next day, which that's how I was for a long time, then we've got to change the beliefs that will help you to secure more business. So I always start with what's going on inside of the person before I ever take a look at their sales or marketing strategies because, you know, you got to pay attention to those beliefs that are driving you and you shift those blind spots. That gives you more success and makes you uh, more money so much faster than anything else you can do. So taking a look at that and yeah, I've created lots of programs over the years. So, um, you know, it just depends on what you're looking for. For this show, because it's focused on making money, uh, I'm going to recommend a free ebook that I put together. It's called uh, Increasing Sales Through Relationships. It's five simple steps. You can take one step a day and put it into your marketing. And so you can use it for direct response. You can use it for building your brand. Uh, but it is tiny URL. So tiny URL, tiny T I N Y <laughs> URL.com forward slash Tim increase sales. Tim increase sales. All one word. So tinyurl.com forward slash Tim increase sales. And that program will help you to, um, uh, it'll help you to start building relationships through the sales. Now, if you want to improve your mindset, go to um, 
www.cureforselfsabotage.com. Cureforselfsabotage.com. And that one is uh, an ebook that will tell you the top 10 ways that we sabotage ourselves. And if you flip it around, it's the 10 most powerful ways that you can harness your mind so that you can use the power of your mind to create your life by design. So you got sales and you've got your unconscious mind. And when you start combining those two things, success is assured. Understandable. Well, I was going to ask you how people can get a hold of you, but I think you're going to give us these links to these books so that people can download them and, um, you know, get in touch. But just in case somebody wants a fast track, you know, front row seat to whatever it is that you've been doing, what else would you recommend that um, they do in order to get, um, you know, through to you? So, you know, if you if you want the do it yourself approach, there's a, I wrote a great book called Get Out of Your Way. So you can find that at my website, timsure.com. And uh, whatever you do, sign up for my newsletter. Okay. So, as, and of course, you know that if um, you get that ebook or you sign up for any of my courses, you're going to end up on my list. And I send a general newsletter out to everybody with my brain training secrets. Right. So I spent 27 years as a therapist and a, a hypnotist and a guy who has a passion for. Uh, any kind of peak performance strategies that will help people to take their results to the next level. I was telling you, I started my career as a therapist who focused on post-traumatic stress, right? So I would take people who've been the, through the worst stuff you can imagine and flip it around so that they felt like their past makes them stronger and weaker. It's meaning that we give to it that determines how we feel, think, and behave. And so you can use, I'm from Indiana, from uh, you know, United, United States and Indiana. And so I grew up around farms and, uh, and cornfields. And I always tell people that farmers know that things grow better in manure. And so what we do is we learn to take the crap from our past and we use it to grow our future. <laughs> oh, I like that. My, my little farming metaphor. And <laughs> so we can, we can take where, wherever you've been, whatever you've been through, everybody has a story. Everybody has something special inside of them that needs to be released so that you can share who you really are and make a difference in the world. And so you have, whether it's your story or it's the joy that you bring or it's how much you care about somebody or how smart you are or you've had an obstacle that you've been able to overcome and now you want to help other people overcome that obstacle. Everybody has a story. Everybody has a passion that they can really get involved with. And, uh, and if you don't think that's you and you need something faster, then you can always give me a call, right? You'll, my contact information is at timshire.com and I can certainly help you out. The number one thing that I would recommend is that you keep watching Prosper's show because he's doing a great job with everything. Make sure if this is your first time, subscribe, right? And then tell your friends about it and follow him. I found him uh, by following him on Instagram. Right. And that's how we first met. And, and so, you know, get connected, stay connected with his positive energy. Use the resources that Prosper has because he's doing really good work. And thanks for having me on your show. Well, thank you so much. I see you've just used your others focus communication skills right there. <laughs> and <laughs> it does. It does show. But um, as you as you have been saying, um, there's quite a lot that goes on into a business. They, uh, it's not just a you know one click uh, solution. So all those links that um, Tim has mentioned, I'll make sure that they're going to be in the show notes um, for this video, also on YouTube. And like he says, subscribe. I um, obviously. I'm on a mission to help you have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. And with people like Tim showing up every once in a while to grace us with their knowledge and expertise. And like he says, 27 years of you just getting all that um, in one episode. That's something to, that's a really good uh, force to, to, to reckon with. All right. So, as you've also seen, Tim actually helps you shift all the unconscious beliefs and habits that you might have, and you will be left with a profound life-changing experience that leaves you um, discovering what actually drives your behavior at an unconscious level. A lot of people think um, they know everything. A lot of people think they, they understand what's going on, but the reason where you, you are where you are right now is because there's one thing that you probably don't know. So all those links that I'm going to put in, Tim is probably going to uh, be the person to help you out. And if there is anything 
um, that I also learned from uh, this show today is you just really got to become a force for good and within your work and within your home, which is what Tim is uh, trying to elaborate. Thank you so much for your time, uh, Tim. I really, really hope you enjoyed creating this as much as we enjoyed having you on the show today. Oh, I certainly did. Yes, it was a pleasure spending more time with you. And uh, for everybody that's watching, just believe in yourself and know that you can do it, right? You just got to hang in there. Uh, success takes a while, right? It's not a quick fix. I know we'll watch people on the internet saying, oh, I just made million dollars in a day and you can do it too. And it takes time, a lot of time. And so you just have to commit to staying with it and stay focused on one thing, singular focus. Don't get caught up on I'm going to do this today and this tomorrow and this the next day and this the next day. No, just pick one thing and stay with it and commit to it for the next two years, right? Or the next year and really go down that path. And you'll find that it takes you to so much more success because you stayed singularly focused. And uh, yeah, so thanks so much for having me on the show. And I look forward to spending more time with you again down the road. Not a problem, man. Thank you. That is a strong introduction. If somebody doesn't watch this, they got issues <laughs> anyhow. <laughs> they can't be helped. <laughs>